Okay, so the final thing to do is just to preview your site and make sure your buttons are working uh, before you start adding on content. So if we get into Dreamweaver. Okay, so there's a couple of ways to do this. Um, one of them, you can just go down to the bottom right here uh, where it says preview and click on that and you can select how you want to preview the site. You can see here it's suggesting F12, so that's the other way you can do it. You can press the F12 key on your keyboard, or and, and that will preview the site. Or you can go up to File and then Real Time Preview, and again it will give you the option. So I'm just going to go with Google Chrome. Okay, so you can see that our site is being previewed in Chrome, and if we hover over our buttons, we've got the rollover image. Um, so now if I click the about page, it'll go to the about page, shop, and you can see the names up here uh, that we selected, so sweet shop about, sweet shop contact, sweet shop sweets, um, this one's called sweet shop shop, uh, not very imaginative, but uh, yeah, it does the job, and this one sweet shop home. So that's the preview of your site. Um, so now we're done with the template page, so we can get rid of that. It's obviously saved in our folder for later, um, but we don't need it anymore for um, inserting content, so we can, we can just close that. Um, if you want to say, for example, insert an image, you might click on this uh, row here, go to insert, um, go to image. You might want to put another table in so that you can edit things again within uh, a specific structure um, but there's some more videos for you to watch um, about doing stuff like inserting data capture form um, there's a PowerPoint for inserting a quiz uh, so you can follow through all of those different uh, bits of media there at the bottom of the um, Teams task and it will show you how to insert all your content but your templates created you've been able to test it with the preview if it's not working then you may need to uh, go back and edit some of the um, the links so you can see over here in the file structure each of your web pages are there with the saved name so you can actually um, you know connect the dots so if, if, if for example your contact link isn't working you can select your contact button you can see the name of the link that you put on it so contact.html here in the properties section and you can just double check that you have a contact.html page if you made a spelling error or something like that then obviously just rectify either the uh, name of the uh, web page or change the name of the link and uh, that'll fix your issue but uh, yeah so uh, well done on getting your template put together and good luck with all of your content